Back in June, President Trump told ABC News, you'll remember, that if a foreign country called with information from one of his opponents, he would, quote, like to hear it. Your campaign this time around, if foreigners, if Russia, if China, if someone else offers you information on an opponent, should they accept it or should they call the FBI? I think maybe you do both. I think you might want to listen. I don't, there's nothing wrong with listening. If somebody called from a country, Norway, we have information on your opponent. Oh, I think I'd want to hear it. You want that kind of interference in our elections? It's not an interference. They have information. I think I'd take it. If I thought there was something wrong, I'd go maybe to the FBI if I thought there was something wrong. But when somebody comes up with oppo research, right, they come up with oppo research. Oh, let's call the FBI. The FBI doesn't have enough agents to take care of it. But you go and talk honestly to congressmen. They all do it. They always have. And that's the way it is. It's called oppo research. No, it's not. Those comments caught the attention of Federal Election Commission Chair Ellen Weintraub, who tweeted a statement on the illegality of campaigns accepting foreign assistance along with a caption, I would not have thought that I needed to say this. Then yesterday, the president called on a foreign country, namely China, to go along with Ukraine before that to investigate his political rivals. Mr. President, president, what exactly did you hope Zelensky would do about the Bidens after your phone call? Exactly. Well, I would think that if they were honest about it, they'd start a major investigation into the Bidens. It's a very simple answer. Uh, they should investigate the Bidens. Likewise, China should start an investigation into the Bidens. Because what happened in China is just about as bad as what happened with, uh, with Ukraine. Shortly after the president made those comments, Weintraub retweeted her statement from June, along with an image of a microphone and the caption, is this thing on? FEC Chairwoman Ellen Weintraub joins us now. Chairwoman, appreciate you being here today. I know you don't want to get into the politics of all this, so let me ask you about the law. Could you restate what the FEC says about seeking the assistance of a foreign nation in a political campaign? Well, the law is pretty clear, Willie. It is absolutely illegal for anyone to solicit, accept, or receive anything of value from a foreign national in connection with any election in the United States. So, Ellen, then what is the thing of value? Because this is the gray area where the White House and President Trump is playing. He's just saying, we're looking into corruption in Ukraine, for example. Is there a thing of value there? Well, I don't want to comment on the specifics. I'm just here to explain the law. That's part of my job, and I think that this is a moment in America where it's really important that the American people understand what the law is. The FEC has looked into all sorts of things of value over the years, um, and it is clear from our precedents that information can be a thing of value, opposition research, polling data, mailing lists. We've looked at all sorts of information in the context of the foreign national ban. Sometimes information can be difficult to value, not just information. Other uh, kinds of things can be difficult to value. It can be hard to ascertain, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. So just I want to underline that information and opposition research can be a thing of value and therefore in violation of the law. I believe so. Mike? So, Ellen, even as limited as we are, we, Speak understand, for yourself. we understand the law as you just explained it. What I want to know, I think what people want to know, is what is the penalty for what Donald Trump has, is doing? What's the penalty? Well, penalties vary. Um, if the FEC were to consider a complaint, and again, I don't want to talk about the specifics of any particular fact pattern, but the FEC has civil enforcement authority over the Federal Election Campaign Act, which includes the foreign national ban. The Justice Department has criminal enforcement authority. When the FEC looks at a complaint, it often will assess a monetary penalty at the end of, the, of an investigation. And it's, it's very hard to say at the beginning uh, or in the abstract of what that penalty might be. We've assessed penalties from uh, a few hundred dollars to millions of dollars. If, if Donald Trump took a million dollars from a foreign government, you'd say, okay, that's a pretty black and white thing of government, <clears throat> of value. If you gave Donald Trump the choice, would you rather have a million dollars for your campaign from the Ukraine or dirt 
that's going to bring down your number one opponent, he would certainly choose the latter, which shows it even has more value than money. So I don't think anybody can question <coughs> his value attached to it. FEC Chairwoman Ellen Weintraub, thank you as always for your perspective on all this. We appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.